Hello and welcome back my friends, it, it has been a while and uh, yeah, hope you all have been doing great, I have been doing fine myself and enough yapping, let's get into this, what is it, world finals for like eSport, World's Cup, I have no idea what this tournament is all about, I just noticed that T1 is playing in some like grand finals against TES apparently and uh, I know I had to be there even though uh, yeah, I, I've been taking a bit of a break from um, from League and also I watched the T1 games, it's not that, but uh, yeah. I mean, maybe it's uh, maybe it's like some midlife uh, League of Legends crisis or something, but uh, regardless, you gotta be there when T1 is uh, square and uh, yeah, hopefully they're squaring up well versus TES. Uh, yeah, we beat BLG finally and uh, Team Liquid 2-1 I think was the last result to make it to the finals, so that's not too bad, but yes they beat genji and uh yeah well genji is pretty good sadly for us but uh, regardless enough yapping we are picking uh Kassante, zeri uh what's going on these champions um you know how they you know how they go right uh we also have zyra uh yeah i'm not familiar with this game but let's just have some fun in the good old times right and uh, let's get right into game number one and uh, hopefully we're going to bring home this uh, new esports world cup title um it's uh, it's like worlds where the world champions we have to, we have to get that title no questions asked so yeah let's put our foot down in game number one so i'm not going to even like act like i have an absolute plan about what's going on right here um i see ona with zyra in the jungle i just assume this makes sense again i've been on a bit of a leak break um so, so that's that. I just assume it works, right? Uh, Zyra obviously got uh, jungle buffs ages ago. Oh, very nice movement by TS. Uh, this uh, top laner there will still get chunked quite a bit, uh, and he can't recall. Uh, but obviously, uh, AP junglers like Zyra or like Elise in the past or Brand uh, jungle, right? These jungle champions uh, are very, uh, very fast. And if you interrupt their jungle clears, they're very susceptible, right? They can get very low due to the fact that they have no inherent healing in their kit or that their base resistances are very low. Uh, oh, yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, not the first time Faker uh, uh, lost these 1v1s there, right? We, uh, we had a bit of... Uh, a few rough ones in the past. Uh, I think it was the same matchup, right? Corky versus uh, Tristana. Was it the same matchup? Uh, yeah. Uh. It, let's let's not talk about it. it it's rough. It's rough. Uh, so yeah, TS with some uh, good plays here in the in the early game right here. Looks not too bad, but uh, yeah, he gets the level up, and uh, yeah, level up not only getting like the extra ability to like get away. Uh, also the extra uh, like stats and so on and so on uh, just a bit unfortunate um, yeah what what shall we say what shall we say it's a bit of a uh, gold buff uh, for cream uh, he goes for a long sword not for a call or anything like that so mm, that's interesting let's see what owner does walks over ward here and I mean Tristana not really the uh, yeah, easiest champion to gank um, oh carrier okay okay Flash comes in. Maybe we have something here. Damn, man, it's had a lot of damage between uh, the jungle and support there, right? No ignite, no nothing. But I get—I mean, Carrier was not full HP, so that's that. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, TS. Uh, yeah, we 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 get to see why they are uh, the first place or the first seed from uh, the LPL. Uh, yeah, a, a, a bit rough, right? Okay, let's see, let's see. Flash forward, more or less connects, and Guma gets the first one for us. Very nicely lined up there, but now this means Faker might be in trouble. No, he's not, but still, look at this man. Ay, 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 our mid lane turret. We need that one. Oh, Ash Arrow comes down, or what was that? Yeah, Ash Arrow, if you look at it, Jackie Love just sends it down. And let's see here, Cream. And we'll get away with the rocket jump. So it in the end, it's like more or less a one for one. Right here, 11 minutes. What is it? Still 1.5 ish. 
being the difference. Okay, they're looking for a play on to Zeus. Zeus handshaking the exchange. Oh, let's see Daisy. Okay, flash old, but nah, 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 man. What the hell? Very late TP by Faker as well. Should be able to get the kill. No flash as well. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. And now Daisy doing so much damage. Faker takes care of her, but uh, that's a red buff. Man, such a fucking disaster. I was not paying attention to mid lane, to be honest, so I don't know if Faker could have potentially TP'd earlier. But this is a disaster, man. Losing the... Let's call it 2v2 there. Losing the mid lane turret as well. The game is going to hell in a handbasket. 6-1. I... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um... So uh, we're trying some plays here in the bot lane. Very cute. Oh god, no! Come on! Everything is just going. Nah, man. Okay, I mean, uh, I'm so fucking tilted just watching this, man. We're trying some plays there in the bot side, right? While our entire top side is getting decimated. Okay, I mean, at least we get the turret, but it's a one for one, right? So two turrets for one. They also get a kill. Do they get one kill? No, they get two kills because owner also died. They get the mid lane turret as well. It's just... Man, Tristana going just absolutely ham. Look at this, man. Individual gold lead onto Faker. 3,400, 500. It's a fucking massacre. Ay ay ay. Okay, now next dive attempt here onto 369. Carrier doesn't hit it. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, well, four people are in top lane. Uh, uh, yeah, we get the turret, we get the kill, but uh, look at this man. Zeus is trying his best here. Maybe he can assassinate Tien. Yes, he gets that one. Kasante is still balanced. Oh, nah, he gets the reset. Nah, man. Uh, well, a one for one and then turrets being more or less traded. This is actually not the worst play, right? Like, we talk about the scaling for both sides, right? TS, obviously, uh, like, they have an enchanter, a double tanks, 280 carries, bunch of CC, good amount of range, uh, pick potential, vision control, right? It's a pretty, pretty insane comp, right? Um, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, man, owner, oh, no, poor boy, man, what the hell? Here we see, man. <laughs> Why, uh, yeah, why Ash was not the worst pick against Zyra back then, right? You, uh, you pick, oh, very nice one by Carrier there. Uh, Faker gets the solo kill? Was it a solo kill? No, Zeus is also there, so it's not a solo kill. Any cool new item combinations that we can talk about? No, we actually have a play here. Everyone jumps. No, okay, only Mako, and now the TV comes in, and... Uh, yeah, it took too long, it took too long, and uh, yeah, that's Baron. Right, our composition usually is really good at defending Baron, but uh, yeah, maybe not from 5,000 gold behind, and with only 37,000 gold. Uh, well, there are a couple of more issues here. Maybe we can get one of the kills here. Maybe, hello, stun. Ah, oh, come on. Uh. The thing is, if we go in for that, and like even if we get two of the kills, if everyone dies, they just finish, so... Yeah, so game number one, bit rough. I think the draft was fine. Um, not the biggest fan of this uh, Zyra pick yet. I mean, Zyra is a cool champion. Like, don't get me wrong, but I don't think... Like, you can't pick her that early in the draft. Like, maybe I, I don't know ball, right? Maybe there's like uh, some like crazy stuff, but nah. So yeah, mid lane matchup got like cucked over from level 1, right, with the level up, which obviously like it is Faker's mistake, you ought to know how uh, and when people level up. Uh, let's just go into game number 2 and uh, hope for team 1 uh, reverse sweep or something like that. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, after a technical pause and waiting for it feels like a long time, we have Faker with Ari. Luckily not playing the fucking uh, shit skin, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, well, whatever, T1, let's see what they have drafted. We have a pretty uh, arrogant, aggressive bot side, 
against uh, TS, right? Saying, okay, like, well, we need to ha like hammer down the spot lane advantage and we have lane swapping. Uh, I remember there was a big time where I was like, hey, let's bring back some um, creativity like lane swaps back into the games. But now that it's like has really returned into the meta, I'm just really annoyed. <laughs> I just don't want to see it because the lane swaps that are being done are just like, I don't know, they feel so cringe, right? It's not like, oh, I'm accelerating my hyper carry. Ooh, we're trading turrets and getting stuff land. It was like, oh, I don't want to lane this match. It's like such a, like a beta mindset for the lane swap. Okay. Nice. Uh, Mako, yeah, annoying owner here a bit. 369 comes over, stun. Uh, yeah, owner, yeah, has the flash. Annoying, right? But it's, it's not too bad, right? The flash for Vi is not the most crucial summoner spell. Carrier, oh, TP comes in from Zeus. I mean, he's level two, but he just TPs in to die. What is bro? Like, why? Like, you TP, like, you can TP there, but not at this like, moment, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't even buy it like any time. It's just, it's just unnecessary, right? We were so far ahead or like relatively ahead due to like the ability to clear the turret plates in the bot lane faster. But no, Zeus decides, hey, maybe we'll give over some fun stuff for you. <sighs> anyway, early game going much better, right? Four minutes and we're not uh, thousands of gold behind. We'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, two zeros against uh, what was it DRX two one against KT just a bit rough faker here with the TP It doesn't hit the charm does some damage, right? It's nice, but without a charm. You're just not really doing anything. Oh actually level up Okay, okay Let's go finally something to be happy about and Zeus takes that one. Okay Anyway, very nice faker TP is early right in time this time and yeah no real punish right owner is there to pick up the wave we get the kill and okay this is uh but yeah regardless we are still in fine position right 2-2 two, two, the score line uh no first blood for us this time but uh overall it's all right Using their cooldowns on owner is just not the way to go. Very nice kill picked up by bye bye or a bot lane as well. And uh, yeah, the scrappier style game. Not bad, not bad. This time we also have the tools to scrap. Uh, like we literally have the scrap shield on one of our champions. Even though the pilot, literal pilot, is uh, yeah, a bit confused maybe. I don't know. Okay, okay. Nice cleanse. Carrier under the turret. Hello, brother. Uh... Yeah, also, fate's call not needed. Uh, yeah, uh, again, maybe a bit too antsy, but uh, it's 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 fine. Any interesting items? Well, not for us to see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay. That's going forward. Oh no, carrier. Yeah, uh, not amazing. But oh, fake of flashes forward gets. Ah, oh, she. Ah. <sighs> Shiban man. What are they doing? Hello? Delight, yeah. Delight last year where it's like sure he was really like the good performer, great performer on his team before. Then he goes to a big team, gets really like he improves even more. So uh, that's nice to see. Um, just really shows you for like not only for League of Legends but in general in life, right? Uh, if you associate, if you like spend time, train and do it like other people do uh, that are like, let's call it successful or good. Like you will like grow as well. Okay. They use everything. Tien also burning down and look at this HP, Jesus. Zeus, what does he have? Oh, just two and a, uh, not even one art item. Yo, I mean, Tien is going for a more aggressive build here uh, as well, but uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Nicely done, but I, 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 go maha. Can we get an overlay where we see grubs? Maybe 
but whatever. Faker is going in. Faker, ooh, gets a nice charm there onto Jackie Love. And there is those on the flank as well. They have some CC, but with the Ezreal dead, there's not enough damage. Very nicely orchestrated by, uh, like, by T1. Well, let's just say T1, yeah. Very nicely done. There's a TP, but let's not go for the, uh, what is it named? Cassante, right? Cassante on the turret, maybe not. Yeah. Harold now plays the mid lane. If we can't, uh, yeah, stop the charge, which is very unlikely. That will be our mid lane turret, which is rather unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. Yep. Do we have anything? Could be that we uh, now look for a force onto this. I mean, we are ahead. Tien so chunked. Oh my god, what a beautiful equalizer flashing forward, melting TES. They have to retreat. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe Cream as well. Okay, old there. Do we go for turret? Do we go for turret? Or the. Yeah, we go for the kills and then the turret. It's an absolute wipe. Four kills on the chopping board. Chop, 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 chop. Mwah, beautifully done. Owner looks at them, confuses them, and then Zeus lays the red carpet perfectly. And after that, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, just uh, relatively simple, but uh, amazing. Just uh, great. The coordination for the dive as well, right? It's not that Cream and Jackie are. Uh, uh, not slippery, right? So uh, doing that one without like suffering a casualty is just nice. Ah, very well done. It looks like a very uh, great T1 game here for this one. Okay, now T1 should look at starting the Baron at some moment here. Ah, and now uh, that I said it, right? Because they were waiting for some of the old, uh, old cooldowns to come back. Obviously also the vision at ETC. Uh, but the thing is, right, T1 very old reliant team. So uh, yeah. Okay, we're just fishing for something here. Um, yeah, um, mm, I don't know. I, I need to look at owner and Guma's build again. Can't they two man it very easily? Well, I guess we don't need to. Let's get something here. It's a bit of an iffy fight, right? Faker not in the best position. But uh, yeah, now they've overstepped. And yeah, Faker still has the... Uh, yeah, bailout. He didn't even need to flash, but it's a clean fucking ace. A very nice. And T1 will bounce back in game number two. <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah, I yeah. am. Glad to be back with this one. Glad to be back with this one. Two flashes here used by uh, Faker and Owner. But uh, wait, Meiko. Did he re respawn already? It has to be, right? It, it was an ace, no? Anyway, very nice. 26 minute victory here after game number one. Uh, getting, uh, like, schooled upon in the early game with our scaling comp now we pick more aggressive we pick more skirmishing and uh yeah we skirmish the heads off very nice one one the scoreline let's go for victory number two in this next uh, third game okay uh, i've been waiting for was it an hour 50 minutes plus or something at least jesus man these are like technical like they have like ad breaks talking breaks like then we have technical technical stuff right going uh wrong jeez man uh fast out the flash very nice whatever let's talk about the game here now who connects but uh yeah i have finally no lane swap by the way we actually get like bot lane versus bot lane um yeah top lane matchup again hopefully this time it's not that bad for zeus right he again has the level advantage uh okay maybe not the best timing there regardless uh faker on trusted azir cream this time on the uh, corky which i mean obviously is different but still pretty strong owner on an ap champion this time with mobility though so uh yeah let's see what he can do that tian on the other side uh yeah going for a more or less inter uh like non-interrupted clear uh let's see uh, yeah, he's he's been spotted, right? Oh, okay. Another handshake. Uh, going fine so far. Owner here should be uh, in a better position in this 1v1. He has to be a bit careful. Gets the smite. And uh, that's a very big duff, obviously. Uh, oh, okay. No W? Yeah, W. What is he doing? Weird. Yeah, Faker's still in a fine position here. Oh, actually scoops him up. Perfect alley-oop for Owner. Wow, very impressive. Uh, I'll have to take a look at it again, right? But uh, for me, it looked like 
like uh, owner predicted where Faker would toss him, right? So uh, either you say owner predicted where he would toss him or you say uh, Faker tossed him into the spear. Uh, regardless, very nicely done by both of them. Uh, Scream obviously like had a flash window, but uh, nah. uh, they can just follow him. Uh, and so with red buff slow, right? You're just cooked. Oh, owner yeah, gets that one. And uh, yeah, T1 continues this uh, slight, slight, slight early game advantage that they are setting up here 1k. Uh, okay, no, yeah, the, the old was first, then owner's spear followed. Uh, I mean, that's how it should be, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, like Faker with TP here, walking away on the bot lane turret, right? Uh, but probably not get it, right? It's just a bit too uh, too much HP. Cru uh, Cream is also there, but without TP, so uh, a bit interesting here, but overall, we're not in the best position to fight. We fight after the objective. Uh, yeah, that's weird. 369 has flash. Uh, yeah, they're really trying to, to take care of Faker here, but uh, nope. And while they were, like, I don't know, f putting their eyes onto the minimap, putting their eyes somewhere else, their big carry Jackie got killed, right? Uh, now only 160 stacks. Okay, decent hook there, but uh, it's not enough. There was. Like, as bad as the laning phase was, still can tank up some tower shots. And oh, wait, no! Similar story, but our AD carry at least gets away. Guma, that's the wrong direction. Now, let's see how you're going to approach us with your uh, one engage champ only. And uh, yeah, we have so much range, disengage tools. We're just throwing shit at you. It's a bit of a weird comp that TS has drafted there. Um, right, they only have really one engage champions. Uh, champions, man, my English. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, look at Tian's HP. I'm just going to cringe. Cringe. Uh, but, uh, yeah. This is going to be rough, but we're going to get the kill. Well, barely in the end. Tian, the only one to get away with such a slimmer of HP, man. Can make some PP jokes, but uh, let's not. Okay, yeah. Nice. And uh, yeah, top are uh, on the dragon. They do some damage to it, but not too much. T1 could have been. <gasps> that was so close. And uh, yeah, T1 here may be a bit too greedy, but I mean, they have the gold lead, they have the balls, and uh, that's. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a fucking massacre. Uh, there's, there's just so much to say. T1. I mean, TS, like, why did it take so long to kill the dragon? Wow. Uh, T1 just digging around with three people. Relatively greedy, I'd like to say. Uh, that nearly turned on its head, but, uh, yeah. Faker and I think it was Zeus. Uh, oh, well, whoever it was, joining the fight, turning the tables right after TS have tried to engage but failed to do so. Okay, oh, no, this time Mako doesn't get hit. But uh, yeah, they're still getting chunked, right? T1's preparing the vision uh, in this uh, topside quadrant here. Actually, there's still a few wards standing for maybe a TP flank for a 369. Uh, maybe he's looking at it, but uh, nah. Without Mako, you just can't play the game. Carrier, Ripperino. That is actually... Wait, Jackie Love got the cash in through that. Okay, that's a bit... Uh, that's a bit... Nice for TS, <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully it should not matter. 369 is moving up here, but uh, T1 should be informed about that one. Oh, maybe not. There's the squire. Yeah, it's, it should be all right here. They Again, they don't have any engage, especially with Mako dead. Uh, right, his hook and ult are the only forms of CC that they have reliably. Uh, sh sure, TN can flash uh, E into someone, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, let's be realistic here, right? Okay, and Mako again, getting caught on a walk. Not sure if the flash is worth that carrier, but uh, yeah, I think they're a bit... Uh... Okay, interesting here. Ah! It doesn't matter, like, we get the kills regardless. T1 says, nah, man, let's not wait. Baron has not even respawned yet. They say hey, it's over. They say it's enough. There's the carpet. Jackie Love with his... Uh, yeah, access. Oh, what's this lagging? Hi, uh, stop. Yeah, we got a bit uh, chunked there by a cream, right? That guy still does a lot of damage, but 
Okay, there's the TP flank that we talked about a while ago, but the crocodile is now no, all, 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 all alone. Has a flash and he gets the CC onto Faker, but uh, Bailot, please! Yay! But it still looks uh, rough, yeah. Wait, Quadra killed for 369. How the fuck did that guy live through all of this? Ah, yeah, yeah, man. Production quality, hopefully, uh, it's not that bad for you guys, but uh, yeah, this is wild. Okay, and now, uh, yeah, we get uh, fucked over just as the Baron spawns. <laughs> And that should be uh, Baron, and uh, we could look to uh, end on Baron. We could also like just look to push with Baron and uh, secure Soul, uh, not Soul, Elder, and all, all that. Uh, but I think like at some point we're just asking for trouble. So like please just uh, please just go in and finish. Right, he's still dead for 40 seconds. Okay, Carrier goes in, Flash old. Doesn't connect. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. We still get Cream's Flash, so uh, that's that. And here, let's see, man, just a bit of pop mache is standing in our face, right? Puma doing a good amount of damage there, and uh, yeah, Zeus just face tanking it, and this is it. Game number three, our second win, finally in the back. We'll see each other in two more hours when they are ready to host the next game. Okay, my friends, what is happening? T1, please just win and send us, not home, right, we're at home, but uh, end this man, is our, I mean this time it was not an hour, but uh, yeah, we are four hours in, just started the fourth game, the games are 20-30 minute games, well whatever, let's just go, uh, we have knock up, we have Yazoo in mid lane, they have range abilities, we have a wind wall, that's cool. Zeus playing his champion again to burn down the opponents. This time they are a bit more mobile, so uh, we'll have to see how that's going to work out. Uh, yeah, let's just see. I don't know why we are like happy gaming like that, like that. Uh, but uh, yeah. Overall, just uh, just looks fine. I mean, obviously pretty cocky, right? Pretty uh, like hands intensive uh, draft there. Uh, for like some of our friends here. I don't know what this priority on Cassante is like uh, He is just so much more squishy than uh, he was in the past, which is very nice to see Let's see Tian goes bot. Nothing shocking. Nothing new. Spots out our owner boy and obviously uh, Yeah, I mean this time we shouldn't be too worried about this uh, Yeah, this one we want also is okay for us. No. Oh Jackie getting low. Faker being the first one to rotate over. Tian, uh, who gets it? Uh, Faker doesn't get an assist. That's unfortunate. Uh, but he lives. He leaves. <laughs> first blood kill for Guma. Uh, two summoner spells used for two. Uh, heal for flash. Overall, pretty positive. Yeah, uh, it was just overall pretty weird, right? This Ezreal had to take a pretty bad path. Uh, it's not winning that 1v1. Okay, flash over the W. Is it W? No, it's not the W. Whatever. Nice flash by Zeus. Knows he has it in him. And uh, look at this lane state as well, man. It's terrible. 369 already was forced to TP. Uh, like before the spot lane play happened, right? That's when he TP'd uh, with the potion. He has uh, some uh, biscuits to snack on. But uh, yeah, if Zeus doesn't want to push this wave out, right? You're just cucked. T1 here not really in the best position. Faker is still walking back. Okay, never mind. TP comes in. Let's watch the team fight. Let's go. Let's go. Faker stands on there. Okay, okay. Owner's ult goes wide. Uh, overall, it just looks really rough. The ult is all right there by our Zeus Master. And oh, actually, we, uh, owner stole the objective. I didn't even notice. It's pretty crazy. Oh, he doesn't get the last Q there. And oh, Faker is low. May has to die here. N Barely, not enough. E E. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, now a quadra kill for an AD carry, not for an Renekton. So uh, that's rough. T1 just really not with the uh, the setup was also a bit like too rushed, and like if 
Owner's ult, for example, just goes flying like that. We don't even see it. Carrier gets like a solo ult on Cream. That's just not where you want to like put all your resources in. Like Owner doesn't hit ult. Faker Carrier ult goes on to a fucking early game. Uh, what's his name? Corky. Uh, sure, it's b better than past early game cockies, but uh, still just not what we want to see here. And uh, sure, it's not too bad here in the later stages, right? Nice E, but I mean, look at the HP bars. It's just too much. It's just too much. Uh, Quadra now for Jackie. That's not what we want to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. Ooh, top lane play here. Ult on the way. Flash forward and everything. But Carrier is around here. Probably be able to defend this top lane, I don't know. Oh no, that last Q hits, that's disastrous. Uh, it will be a two for one with uh, a couple of things invested. First blood turret will go to T1 here for Faker, that's big. Yep, very nice. TN also dies, so overall we get the first blood turret, we trade one for one in turrets, yes, but um, we'll pick up two kills. Kills onto owner, not the sexiest, but uh, yeah. Zeus has to be careful, but yeah, they didn't know he was there, so that's that. Okay, okay. Such sieging up here. Ult by owner. Ult by Mako, okay. Faker goes in like that, like that, and she just dies, man. With no minion wave, you're just melting under turret. We'll have to see, we'll have to see uh, how this game turns out to be, right? As long as we don't give Jackie any space uh, or any opportunity, if we want to go that route, um, to leverage his gold lead. Um, which, I mean, if you look at it, 4-0, he's just 300 gold ahead of, um, of Guma, right? So, um, he's fed uh, in comparison to other members in the game, but uh, in terms of, like, AD damage output, T1 is still in a really fine spot, right? As we see with the 3000 gold lead, obviously. Now, I talked about it, right? No objective being up, no objective being up. Now the objective is up, and we take a look. Uh, it seems like Guma's ult is uh, available now, and uh, we are going in. Zeus just flashes in, Jackie Love eviscerated just like that. Uh, sure, we trade one for one with Zeus, and Faker goes in as well. CC chained for a bit, but uh, that should not really matter. There, oh. Was that a block as well by owner? I don't know. Whatever it was, five kills, and T1 will march and secure both objectives here. I mean, that's just a fucking clinic at this point. Man, ah, it's just lovely to see, man. This team, like, when they feel right, when they're in the right, like, mojo, and they get picks like these champions here where they can really shine with their individual, uh, like, mechanics and coordination, right? Uh, it's just wonderful to see some good fucking League of Legends, man. Just such beautiful team fighting. Okay, Faker, now ganking Jackie he dashes over and he will just immediately die crushes skulls and uh, yeah I mean the game is uh, I mean over is a bit of a harsh word but uh, yeah it might just be over man look at this 6,000 7,000 gold lead that we're approaching now at 24 minutes uh, interesting builds here and there but uh, oh wait a second carrier goes in like that like that nah man nah man Diving turrets here, and it's like no one even dies at this point when we take care of their uh, Their jungler and of their inner in a turret. Okay. Okay. Okay Someone stepped too close to the Sun and uh, Yeah, I mean just it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful man So yeah, all the siege is pretty bad, right? We have to use our ultimates or uh... Oh no Yikes, uh, but yeah, the counter engage is massive. The 10,000 cold lead balls for itself. Sadly, Guma wasn't there to uh, follow up with some really consistent TPS, but this could have been uh, so much worse, right? We chunked them good, we got some cooldowns, and only sacrificed Faker. I, I say that's fine, <laughs> right? Again, this could have been much, much, much worse. We are going to lose our mid lane turret plus bounty, so uh, good swing back for TS, right? Decreasing the gold lead to now only 8,000, which uh, I mean, hey, right? Games, nicely balanced game. 10,000 gold lead snapped and uh, decreased just like that. Let's see, let's see. This is soul point. I mean, we're already massively ahead and we have big balls, uh, so uh, we don't need to be worried. But if we secure this one, like you know, it's going to be Jover. 
the appreciated uh, thing should be that we engage instead of going for a smite fight. Well, whatever, we take the fight after we've secured the soul and look at all these explosions. Look at their HP bars decreasing like, uh, I don't know, my, uh, my sanity. And uh, yeah, another ace and T1 will be uh, double world champions, right? Put our hands together. Fake already TP, man. It's like business as usual. I mean, if you win the world championship like four times, you might as well just win another, like, what is this? Uh, what is it called again? World Esports, World Champion, whatever. Uh, amazing. Like, T1 just won an equivalent to Worlds, right? Uh, <laughs> just fun. But. World Cup presenting League of Legends winners. Yeah, uh, we're not repeating that, Atlas. Uh, thank you that you looked at the full name for this event. But uh, yeah, amazing. Let's see what kind of titles. Hey, Koma! Oh, no, it's just nice. What is it? Who's this Arabic guy there? What is he? What? Who's, who's that guy? Huh? Who the hell? Well, whatever. Anyway, let's enjoy that uh, Saudi Arabia money. I think it's in uh, Saudi Arabia, if I looked it up correctly. Again, I just spawned into this event. I didn't even know I was uh, like I was born. But suddenly I dropped here and I'm um, watching League of Legends. Watching T1 win everything. Okay. What is this? Are they? So they are... What is this? Eh? Okay, Faker. What? They gave him some T1 thing. What is he doing? Who? Complete the trophy? Ah, it's a. Oh, it's a like what is it? A disc? I don't know. Sorry, my English not the best, but so. Well, wait. Hey, let's go. Very nice. Yeah. Something uh, to add to the T1 collection. Very nice, very nice. Good to see, good to see. Again, I don't know <laughs> uh, how serious everyone took this tournament. Uh, I hope at least somewhat. I think like you always want to win, right? Especially as uh, TES here in the finals. You don't really want to lose. But anyway, T1 won another world championship title, even though it's like the championship title from home or whatever. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching uh, some T1 content with me. And uh, yeah, hope we see each other sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, anyway, take care, my friends. Bye bye.